In recent years, Taiwan's pork farming industry has been facing a significant decline due to multiple factors, including decreased domestic hog farmers, reduced pork production, higher costs of raising pigs, and the government's decision to subsidize imported pork from May to September 2023. Statistics reveal a sharp decrease in the number of domestic pig houses, declining from 8,449 in April 2014 to only 5,893 in May of this year. Moreover, the total number of pigs raised nationwide this year has reached a new record low since 2014, with just 5.2 million pigs being raised. <laughs> Everyone will keep raising more pigs if there is a profit. On the contrary, no one would want to stay in the business if it is not cost-effective. The Ministry of Agriculture needs to guide us on raising hogs and upgrading the equipment to boost breeding rates with lower costs instead of taking advantage of us when hog prices are good and subsidizing pork imported from abroad when there are pork shortages. According to data, Taiwan's average hog trading price has remained around 70 NT dollars per kilogram since last January. However, the hog trading price has been consistently higher, reaching around 80 NT dollars per kilogram since last April, and hitting a record high of 90 NT dollars in March and April of this year. In order to suppress the price, the government relied heavily on imported pork and even started subsidizing it at a rate of 6 NT dollars per kilogram from May 1st, leading to a total cost of 300 million NT dollars and increasing the amount of pork from abroad. The Ministry of Agriculture has explained the decrease in the number of hog farms, attributing it mainly to environmental protection issues and rising feed prices. However, some farmers are taking measures to renew their equipment, hoping to improve the situation. Dai Yuan Li, Zhong Derong, Isabel Wang, TVBS World Taiwan.